Alrighty, everyone, welcome back to the episode of Kustom's Through for Rogue Tower. So we've had several good runs in a row, including one that got us all of this experience, so hopefully we can get some nice juicy upgrades. So I think we can finish off the Tesla Towers, that's most of them. I'm also going to check over here and see what we can get with just, like, the damage over time stuff. I think we can get most of it, if not all of it. Yeah, I mean, we still have quite a bit left. And then the banditry, uh, I'm, I'm so hesitant to get the banditry stuff. Let's at least get this stuff. Okay, so that takes us down quite a bit, and we got this. We're all the way down to 303, but we've gotten everything over here, except for the banditry stuff. Okay. Oh, but it's if they reach the tower, but they drop additional gold. Okay, I thought it sped them up. In that case, we'll do that and immediately regret it, I'm sure. So we got that. We've upgraded the frost tower completely. I'm going to hold off on the flamethrower for now. Poison sprayer gets a lot of use, usually. So we have 153. I can't get that yet. Do that. See how that works out. And then, as promised in the last video, we're going to try our first double defense. I don't know what to expect. I really have no idea what... Oh. Okay. That seems to be a little more tame than I thought. Okay. Early cannon could be nice. So how do we want to do this? So they did make it, so I really got to build out evenly. Um, early mana bank, I'm a little iffier on. Again, Need mana, need mana, need mana. I don't know if we want to invest in those that early, so I think I'm just going to go with the Ballistas. And then give ourselves a little more to time up there. Radar too early, mine, obelisk, heavy shafts. Again, mana, mana, mana. The heavy shafts could do some work. There's not really anything for, like, there's a mine there. Yeah, we're just going to go with this. I'm going to go with a cannon here. And we'll go from there. Hopefully that helps with our uh, income a little bit. Broadhead bolts again? Probably. Okay, I'm just going to try to take advantage of the houses a little bit. Which means I'm also going to put one here. Uh, encampment is a way for us to do damage without needing mana. So at 500, we can't do it yet, but... Probably build it, like, here, maybe? Maybe here. Because, again, we probably want it to cover both sides. Shredder. Um, round shot. So encampment at 500 first. So this doesn't quite cover all the way over there. It's range of two. Uh, it's not bad. Let's give that a shot there. And then Shredder starts out at 500. We have nice little, like, areas, at least on this side, we can build around. 
We gotta get there first. Crashing Tesla coil. Tempted to take the thrashing. Even though we haven't built any yet. Maybe so that maybe that's a little over. Let's take the burn. That is sixty-four. I would definitely consider a shredder soon. Okay, that one made it. That one did not. There's a mana siphon. Okay, I think that starts off a lot for us. So I am going to build a shredder. I'm gonna build it there. I don't have to chop down any trees yet. Honestly, putting a cannon up there would probably be halfway decent. Man. Bleed them dry, frost keep. I think frost keep is fine to start pairing with these. So let's put one there. And we don't have a lot of gold. We have 158 now, so if I build one Mana Siphon... That one doesn't have any, but we could build one here. Mortar could work. Start whittling things down. Seventy five encampment six hundred shredder six hundred. So I think I learned I need to start placing things farther up. I think that's going to be a big one. Okay, shredder should help cut through them. Okay, we got it. Banditry, bleed them dry, high explosives. I don't think we need mana bank. We're not doing a lot of bleed damage right now. We just have the one shredder. I can go banditry. Let's try banditry and another shredder. And then at 350, we can get another freeze tower. I can 
there, probably. There, that should help. It's kind of where I wanted to put the cannon, but I think it's okay. So get that, yeah, okay. Uh, do we need an obelisk? I think we can try it. It's a thousand. I did not realize that. Okay, so we're gonna end something off there. That's fine. Another cannon's 1050. I'd rather have the obelisk. So there's not a lot coming from this side right now. They're doing fine. So if we build... Oh, hold up. Thermal detonation, extra damage to armor, sorcery, not yet. I don't think we need building that. with this. We have a lot of ballistas and being able to finish them off would be nice. Okay. That goes through two per shot and it fires a lot. Okay, that's pretty mana intensive. So with the 104 one there to help. Can't build it there. Okay. That is a definitely a sound. Yeah, all right. So that goes through Mana in a hurry. There's university, which we don't need yet. Bleed them dry. Radar? We might start being able to get use out of radar. It's like, pretty expensive, though. You know, let's go mana bank. The reason for that is if we get sorcery with Mana Bank, that'll be really nice for us. So, I might build another Mortar next, just to help with shields. Alright, to help with armor. We're stabilizing a little bit now. Oh, right. We have an Oogie we have to worry about. We might not have enough to get through him. Uh, then again, we might... I think we're actually okay. 
Flaming bolts, extra burn damage, frostbite, frost bolts. Frost bolts could be nice. Uh, monument. I'm not comfortable building a monument till we get, like, monument or poison spray till we get more mana going. Let's go with this. And let's see what this upgrade is. Nope, not you. You. Heavy shaft, round shot, extra damage to armor. Jagged heads, bleed damage. Yeah. Extra damage to armor. Yeah, okay. We're at 648. Another cannon's 1050. Uh, we can build another mana siphon there. We want another cannon at 1050. Yeah, we seem to be okay on that right side for now, so I'm going to index a little more towards here. And this, if we put it here, yeah, that can reach, and we can go after most armor. Alright, so the shields are starting to come out. So we gotta figure out what we're gonna do about it. I don't have good answers for shields at the moment. there. Enchanted Bolts? Man, Enchanted Bolts seems like such a crappy solution, but it's kind of what we got right now. Yeah, I'm just, like, looking through. Just try to make some upgrades with that. I don't think we're getting through Greg over there, though. We get through this stuff. Let's see if he takes everything. Nah, he didn't, but. Uh, advanced ballistics, thermo it's nothing. Um, go with that. I'm short by 150. Why put a cannon here? See how that does. I don't think it's going to do a ton, but... Well, we try to get some answer to it. I 
Actually, probably individual mana siphons would have been better there. Uh, lookout, nothing. Radar's expensive. No Man's Land, Monster Studies, all towers gain extra damage to health. Let's go with this. That's just for there. Another shredder is 700. Might be okay, and then we load it up with shield damage. See how that works out? Anything here? Uh, enchanted bolts. That'll help out at least a little bit. He shells, uh, thermal detonation, frost bolts too. I mean, I think that's to keep things slowed down even more. We seem to be relying on ballista tur totems a little more than usual, but I think that can be fine. As long as we place them appropriately. Let's see how that works out for us. And then more mana is there. Yeah. Nope, not even. Different elevations. Okay, so we're out for now. Just do that for now. 500's a little expensive for just one upgrade, but... Like, what? Plus one mana regen. But that's our option. Shredders are chunking through pretty well. Hopefully they can keep it up. Use that as a line of defense near the end, hopefully when everything else is whittled down. So we got that there. Okay, Poison Sprayer, again, without more mana. I'm really hesitant. A lookout tower, it's 500. Look at all the potential income up there. Uh, but let's start with this. How much is the range? It's a pretty good range, so let's do shield on that for a little bit. Stuff there, but with the shredders, I think we'll have it. Yeah. Looks like he should be done in time. Conductive snow, I think, has to be the play.
just a shield. Uh, I don't think we've gotten any occult things left. Fortification savings account. Without sorcery, it's kind of meh. Can I keep taking Ballista upgrades? Again, we seem to be getting a decent amount of value out of them right now. So let's keep using it. And then maybe another mortar to help with armor even more. Place it there. It's pretty good. Use that up and then go for most armor. Okay. Like, part of me wants to place a ballista just, like, right there just for the income. It gets 46 a round in just a couple rounds. That'll pay off. I think another frost keep is going to be needed. I think right there. That should buy us a little more time. Just keep things slowed down. There go the shields. Okay. We don't seem to be struggling for health damage at the moment. Another ballista? Doesn't quite reach where I want it to. That does. Does this? Yeah, that can reach. To health, yellow snow, poison damage. All ballistas deal poison damage. Let's take it. Uh, no mana up there. Okay. Another cannon is 1350. Tempted to just take a mortar. In fact... Sink it all into that. Can we take this and give it a little more armor damage? That should help out. We could probably also give it some shield damage. Put a ballista turret here and help with shields. Let's see what we get. Poison sprayer again without more mana. I don't want to grab it. Let's grab the longbow. Double the range. That's going to get us some really nice distance on a lot of things. Way more houses again. Just because. Just that. Another cannon at thirteen fifty. I'm very much considering another cannon. Especially if it's like you know. Let's 
Might put a Ballista here. Yeah, it's a pretty good range. Tesla Coil, still no. Night Watch, all lookouts gain damage to shields? I mean... That seems to be the way to go. I'm just going to keep building up this direction. I mean, yeah. So we got stuff here. If I build a ballista here... I think I have to build it there. Yeah. Gives it a lot more range. Might be time for another shredder as well. Everything over there is still holding up. Yeah, it might be time for another shredder. That's going to run me 900. I mean, that does reach the other side. Okay, he's gonna go down. There's God King Oogie. Are we gonna get... Yeah, we'll get Oogie down in time. Cool. Shredders. Again, I'm very tempted to just... Ooh, sorcery. Oh, sorcery. I'm taking it. We gain some from that, and then we go... One. Two. Go there. That opens up a little bit more for us. Oh, I didn't pick up this. Frostbite damage to health, ricochet. Uh, enchanted bolts. Night watch. Another obelisk would really test us. We can for sure build a frost keep here. That'll help. Another cannon for 1500 there with armor. Slow. Okay. Longbow, even more. Flamethrower. And again, I am very tempted to just go this for more ballista stuff. Do you feel like we're barely holding on in this corridor, though? Okay. 
Like, I'm not sure we have enough area damage, because we're so focused on ballistas. Sorcery 2. Heavy shafts, poison bolts. Yeah, Sorcery 2 just gives us a lot of... And that definitely helps with area damage. It's not like immediate area damage, but... Is there a world where I build another encampment? I think there has to be a world where I build another one here. Plus one, it does reach the other side. No, I'm going to. We can build it in a different spot and still have it be effective. Uh, Lifesteal one, we're alright on mana it looks like. High explosive conductive, bleed them dry, freezing bolts. All ballistas gain a 3% chance, that's... pretty good. I don't I, I don't think encampment's the way to go. That dude is coming in quickly. He also went down very quickly. Holy cow. Uh, savings account, yes. Because sorcery scales with our mana capacity, savings account does a lot of work for us. Right, we're looking at this. Health damage as well. A little bit of shield damage. I'm going to build another lookout tower. There. Try to help out with that. Man, all of the ballista is just coming in, though. Looks great. That covers as well. Custom shells is armor, more bleeds. Tempted to go with this because we have quite a few shredders. I think we only have two or three cannons. Mortars also doing more. You know what, let's take the mortars. Because again, we have a big cluster of mortars here. At 701. Okay. Might as well take advantage of that a little bit more. I think I might build another frost keep in here. Maybe right, um... Maybe here, actually. Things are starting to get through, kind of. And we have so many ballistas covering that, that it's tough, but it's not going to be impossible.
I'm gonna look out here. Mostly focused on health. Just to finish things off. Alright, there's still some worry about shields. Uh, Night Watch could be the way to go. EMP could also be a way to go. Longbow quadruple the range bonus. Oh man, I mean, I kind of want to. Not gonna lie. Screw it. Just, just for fun, we'll go for it. Uh, one more mana bank. That might let us build like another frost keep. Maybe even a uh, obelisk to help out. I, I'm gonna have to build here a little bit. That range is just huge. That is a lot of sh- okay, that's not a lot of sh- He just got melted! Okay. I thought it was gonna take a while to get through him and he just- Uh, extra bleed damage? You know what? Let's do this. Let's just get through the shields. Still our biggest issue. Stuff up there. We have 2,800 gold. Should still reach. All right, I want a little more area in here, so I think that's probably a shredder or a cannon. Shredder's more readily available. We're, ha we're having mana issues now. No Man's Land, Frostbite, Monster Watch is health, round shot to armor. We're gonna go with this. So, just upgrading this gives us three extra mana regen. Just buying ourselves as much time as we can from up there. I think one more mana bank and we should be okay. Okay, hopefully that keeps us mostly evened out. We definitely need like a cannon or something. It's 
1650. Are we gonna make it? I'm not sure we are. Oh yeah, we're losing huge chunks. Man, still the ballistas. That is the most I've gotten out of ballistas in a long time. Lookouts did a lot of work too, actually, considering how late we got them. So I think, again, we just fell down where, like, area coverage was concerned. We had too much single target. Still, that was fun. I can definitely see where four ways is going to be ridiculous. But we'll get there eventually. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I try to upload these every single day, so hit subscribe so you know when I upload them. I also stream on Twitch and here on YouTube. Be great to see you there. Arnap, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night, and take care. <laughs>